Welcome back to the beach. Asia Monet Ray. Asia was a big breakout star. Well, a little tiny petite breakout star from Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. She came on to Dance Moms and she said something interesting. She said, I'm not afraid of her, meaning me. And I knew that I liked her. She was tough as nails, that kid, because she wasn't afraid of anybody or anything. And I liked working with her. When she stepped out on stage to do a solo, man, woo, she demanded your attention. She was captivating, she was fast, she could jump, and uh, she gave a performance, 100%. She left it all on the dance floor. And I always tried to get some of the other kids to dance like Asia, to just dance like they loved it and they weren't afraid of anybody or anything. That's hard to teach a kid, but Asia had that. It was instilled in her with her mom and dad, I guess being competitive bodybuilders, you know? Let's take a look at some of Asia's astonishing moments. She's like a little wild animal coming out of a cage. Asia is like dynamite. We're looking at clips of Asia from Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition on Dance Moms, getting the mothers prepared. What did Jill just say? She said she's like a wild animal coming out of the cage. Uh, hello. It was a doggy dance and she was in a cage and she came out and it was adorable and fierce. That's a good word to describe, Asia. Hey, I'm an animal, I'm going in for the kill. And she did. What other little six-year-old could perform like that on a stage. I mean, my six-year-olds are doing step, ball change, step, ball change, hip, hip. And she is climbing out of a cage, climbing back in a cage, growling at the audience, back answering, back handspring. Now, her legs were apart. They weren't straight. Her feet were sickled. But still, it was the angle. If the choreographer had have done the back handspring, back handspring correctly to the side, we would not have seen that her legs were apart. Hello? If I had to bet, this number right here is what earned Asia her own spinoff show. Look at the incredible character that she's portraying. What other little six-year-old is going to act that big and that loud and that bold? And don't forget, this is shooting a television show. There's cameras all over the place. There's sound people. There's lighting people walking back and forth, and she's just going for it. It is really exciting to have these backup dancers. Asia has backup dancers. Grown, adult, men, backup dancers. I was not in charge of this. I would have maybe had, like, teenage boy backup dancers, but that's okay. She went with it. She was so excited. I have backup dancers. Yes, yes, yes. Other kids would have been like, Mom, they're making me have backup dancers, rolling their eyeballs. Not her. Again, you tell her something and she gets excited about it. She loves it. She's going to make the best out of any situation. I'm going to get you, get you. I'm going to hunt you down. I'm going to get you, get you. How about doing the nay nay? Yes, that's hilarious. With four grown men behind her. She was the ringleader of a circus. And uh, woof. And some days at work, it was like a circus. On Dance Moms, Asia did a little number called Rosie the Riveter. Now, you've probably seen the poster before. It's the red and white polka dot bandana. It's the muscle arm. When World War II happened and all the men went to fight in the war, the women had to go to work. They had to work in the factories, in the plants. They had to construct things and build things and, you know, put pieces together on an assembly line. It was unheard of for women to do that work. Women were nurses and they worked at the telephone company and that kind of stuff. It's a strong female personality and I know that's what Asia is. So we gave her a Rosie the Riveter. If you don't know Asia, now you do. If you don't know Asia, now you do. How about everyone at home? Do you know Asia now? Yes. Asia is a performer. She steps out on that stage and she's at home. She loves to be in front of an audience. Asia walks right on stage and I find out 
her costumes on wrong. Now Asia does a Latin number, a mambo, and the costume is pants because if your feet aren't so great, wear pants. Kind of camouflages them and hides them. That's what a good costumer does. I want the judges to look at this, not look at the feet. So camo them, just like in the army, right? Now, the costume is pants, bell bottoms with the ruffles in the sides, and it has a little back skirt of ruffles around it, like a rumba skirt, and the crop top. Asia comes out, and the pants are on backwards. So the ruffled little skirt, it's called a back skirt, is in the front. But she's a little kid. It's gonna be okay, I think. A magnificent mambo. It didn't matter that the pants were on backwards. The kid didn't even realize it, or she did, and she covered it up. There was never a moment of, the oh, pants are on backwards. Not with Asia, no way. And that makes her tough. It makes her great for show business because you never know what can go wrong, especially with costumes. Asia had some signature movements. That round off back handspring, back handspring was in every number, as well as the pirouette to the drop straddle split. That's always like, uh, woo, what did she just do? It's fast, it's furious. And how about the uh, leg catch turn? Always in the number. And turns in second. They're getting better, they're getting stronger. I wanna see that leg straight. I wanna see that foot point. I wanna see that supporting leg pulled up nice and tight. We're getting there. She's like seven now, right? There was nothing mechanical going on. There was nothing mechanical going on. She brought the robot to life, and she did. And it was cute, the ending, where it's like she slows down because she runs out of gas, and it's over. She dances so fast. The music has to be speed it up, speed it up, speed it up as she's learning the routine because Whatever you give her, eight counts turn into like three counts. She is so fast. I'm not even sure of the name of this routine. I think it's Party Don't Stop. And this is from Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. This number shows a sense of maturity, of timing, of Asia 24-7. She plays with the audience. She pulls the judges in. I know, I was one of the judges. And she slows down, clap your hands all night, to get a child to just walk on stage. To just walk, walk. She gives that slink, slink. It's a really seasoned professional that just can walk and tell you a million things with two walks. Asia did that. It was choreographed into this routine. Another little kid, six, seven years old, would have to do march, march, pivot, turn, pivot, turn, like a soldier or something. To just walk and have that style and that charisma. Hmm. That's Asia. Between the leg catch turn, spin, 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 and the leg, and the tilt jump, and all that jazz, there was a little funk. She changed her facial expressions. So from being fierce and intense, she did the strut, she did the strut, and then she changed it up again. And it was like fun, like she was at a concert or a party. Three different emotions in a routine. That's what we have to see as judges. And that's what she gave us. I think the duet was amazing, the girls were flawless, but I think Asia dominated that routine. Abby would be proud. Whoa, did you hear that? Right from the mouths of mothers. Christy, Asia's mom, said the duet was flawless, but I think Asia dominated the routine. Well, it was a battle between the two girls because getting two little ones to dance together in sync, in perfect harmony, is hard. For one to do an aerial and then one to do a turn, for one to do a back handspring, then one to do a back tuck, for one to do this and one to do that, 
That is smart choreography. They don't need to stay together. It's like a challenge, like, go ahead, prove me wrong. And then the other one's like, no, go ahead, you do it again, do it right. So it was like a battle, back and forth and back and forth. At the end, the choreography had Mackenzie kind of falling on the floor, like throwing the towel in, giving up. And Asia, sass, kiss, and off the stage. Clearly the winner. Pink, two-piece, fabulous costume. I love the little bow in the back of the, the bikini top. And uh, she has that bustle of feathers around her derriere. It's a really cute costume. She looks great in this hot neon pink. Now, I want to party tonight. It's sassy, it's fun. Right off the bat, you can see that Asia's turns in second are improving. The leg is straighter. Again, she has pants on, just saying, throwing it out there. But the leg is definitely straighter and the supporting leg is also pulled up a lot higher. Her releve is even getting up there. I love that she is improving and her dancing is maturing as well. Being on Dance Moms is helping Asia. A lot of turns in this number, but the turns are getting better and I can't get over the costume. It's just gorgeous. This is a great moment for Asia. And she leaves the stage so confident, so proud. Remember me telling the girls all the time about entrances and exits? That's how you win, entrances and exits. With a score of 281.4 points is Miss Asia with act number 12, the robot. Act number 12, the robot, you hear it winning, you hear the flamingo winning, you hear the duet winning. There's just this whole montage of awards and it's Asia, 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 winning, 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 winning. Bravo. Asia gets the first place overall and the Judge's Choice Award. The mothers don't look too pleased. Asia's mom, Christy, is beaming. She's a pretty, pretty girl. And that black hair on camera, she just looks great. And she's this huge smile on her face, she's beaming. Uh, the other mothers, mm, not so much. I wish she would have stayed, at least until the end of the season or perhaps another season. I know that Asia went on to do scripted television. I think that there was more dancing for her to do on television. So Asia, if you're watching, I hope you enjoyed some of your amazing Asia moments. And for everybody out there, please, tell me what you think of Asia's dancing in the comments below. Maybe a little something something about that Asia and Mackenzie duet. And like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. You don't wanna miss what's coming next on my YouTube channel, Abby Lee Miller.